What's up everybody? Doing a quick video for you on how to mint for Stratosphere by Sabet 2023. Very simple process. I'm going to go through it right now. Uh, so you can come to layer with two R's dot X, Y, Z slash form slash Stratosphere to come find the application. At the bottom of the page, you're going to see a link. Having created any artworks, go to the layer app. That's where you're going to mint your artwork. When you come to here, before you sign in, something we need to do is very important is actually set up our MetaMask wallet to support the base chain, which is by Coinbase. So in order to do this, in the top left corner here, you'll see our networks, and I have the usuals in here. I'm going to add a network. So in this network settings, you'll see, I mean, I can try to type in base and nothing's going to be found. So what you need to do is you need to add it manually. So when you add it manually, very simply put, you can put in base mainnet, the RPC URL is going to be mainnet.base.org. The chain ID is 8453. Currency symbol is going to be ETH. And then the block explorer, which is optional, is basescan.org. If you don't trust this information, you can actually go to Coinbase site and they do provide this information there as well. Um, but yeah, you'll see this wouldn't work uh, <laughs> at all if this was uh, me trying to scam you or anything like that. This is actually, you'll see that uh, when I go to layer that I'm not able to do anything unless I was on the actual right chain. So uh, so I switched to the base main net. You can see now on my drop down. It's on the base mainnet versus Ethereum. Uh, I'm going to close this page because now if I come look in the actual wallet, you'll see that the base mainnet is here. I could switch back to Ethereum if I want and then base. Um, super easy. All right. So now we are on the base chain and it's selected in our wallet. Make sure you're in the wallet that you want to use. Um, I have multiple here, but basically uh, this is just a plain old wallet. It's like a, um, a burner for me you want to sign in. So when we sign in, you select your wallet type, MetaMask, and it's as simple as which one do you want to connect? I'm going to connect that main wallet. Uh, I'm going to hit connect. And now it wants a signature. I'm going to sign. And voila, we're at our dashboard. So we're now signed in. Uh, what I would recommend is coming to edit your profile. It's super simple. Okay, so now I'm going to come and just select one of my files. My, my PFP is set. My username. Uh, I can just do jazz test. You can put your bio here. You can enter your email, your default referral. Enter all your socials. So basically, you know, you just add in what your username is for all of them. You fill all those out. Um, I'm going to leave them blank for now and then you can hit save. So now it is saved. You can see the wallet address. Everything's there. Um, back in our dashboard, you can see it's updated. So the steps we're going to take are very quick and easy. We're going to come to projects. We want to hit create a new project. We're just going to give it a name. This is just a folder. It's nothing crazy. I'm just going to call it strat or stratosphere. Uh, oops, it's already taken strat two. That sounds great. Okay, so now I have a folder. It's asking, just to show you in my dashboard, I'll now see that folder down here. Uh, we can now create a collection here. I can also come to my projects. I can create it here. You can delete your projects as well. Uh, but I'm going to create a project. I'm going to create now. I'm going to make my, oh, so you have a choice. You can do a one of one or additions. Uh, I'm going to do a one of one. Blockchain is going to be based. That's very important. That's who's sponsoring this collection name. I'm going to call it Jazz Strat Art. Uh, you can give it a collection ticker if you like. I'm going to call it Chaz. Category is Art. Description My Fine Art here. Excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you can also upload a cover. Uh, I'm just going to pick a random image here. Uh, let's go with this one. Oh, it's always too big. All right. Let me just use my PFP just to save time. Boom. 
Oh, now it's going okay, okay, okay. Come on, there it is. All right, cool. Now I got cover art. This is all done. Uh, my default royalties, by the way, uh, you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to do 10%. And there's my wallet address, and then deploy. There we go. All right, so now I have this collection here. Uh, you can come back and edit your collection right from this drop down. But now we want to add some artwork. This will be your entry. So I'm going to do a single piece because that's what type of project we created was a one of one. And we can give it detail. My art here, my art title here. Give a description, my description. Uh, you can add your traits. I usually do three. I do year. And I do drop. And I do series, which is going to be Strat art. I don't know. I forget what I called it, but whatever, that works. Um, then we're going to upload our actual art. And I don't know. I'll take one of these pieces here. I'll take a 5K version. Just to show we can upload a very large piece. Um, actually, let me not do that. Let me change that. I don't want to use that one. I'm trying to think if I actually minted that one yet. Let me use one of these other ones. I think this one. This one looks cool. We'll use this for now. Okay, and then you'll hit next. What do you want to do the price as? You definitely want to set a price because if you don't, it'll be at zero. And then anybody can just buy it and it's gone. So set your price where you want it to be. Uh, you can make it a free claim or mint. So you could probably do an addition of 10,000 if you wanted to and make it free. Uh, whatever you want to do. So next, if you want to set a start date and end date, you can. I'm not personally doing that. And the referral links refers to... Uh, if somebody was to actually sell your art for you, they would get a percentage. It incentivizes people to actually promote your artwork for you. I'm going to hit next. Um, if you want to create like a whitelist or a uh, early access type list, you can do that here. I don't have any of that. Uh, so I'm good. And basically, you just hit create artwork. Now, what's interesting is you can get this. Proceed. Upload the image, and this one is actually a large image, so it may take a second. Excellent. Now I just have to sign the transaction. Now, I have not spent a penny, by the way. I have not done anything, and look, it's done. It's up there. So here it is. The last step is going to be publishing this. So you need to publish, click it, and then view the mint page. which hello little astronaut you want this url this is important take this come back to your application paste it up top here fill out the rest of the information hit submit a big old green circle the check mark is going to pop up and you're then entered into stratosphere so i wish you all the best of luck i look forward to seeing your art in miami and i thank you for taking the time and watching this video i'm gonna stop now and wish you all the best of luck take care